Hello, I'm, I'm currently recording in my room and I'm going to take my time and read this out from a script and I realized I didn't like add a part where I introduced myself like formally so I'm going to be doing that now before I get into the script part. I am 20 years old, I live with my parents in the great state of New York. I'm going to college but for right now, I'm taking a year off just to fully recover from a surgery I had months ago and really, like, you know, see what I want to do, what I want to do with my life. I'm too young for existential crisis. Anyways, here goes. Hello, everyone. My name is Alyssa, and this is my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I promise you won't be disappointed with the content I post on here. And for those who have been sub since the beginning, Yes, this video will be a lot different than previous ones on my channel because this not only features my art, but also my voice. I have a few reasons for that. For one, I wanted to expand the content I make on this channel and other platforms I use, such as my Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp. I didn't want my channel to be a sitting duck since apparently it takes me molasses to upload AMV or Nightcore or something like that. I want to expand my audience as well and introduce my talents as a creator and make use of this channel as well as not keeping you all in the shadows about my upcoming projects. With that being said, it does not mean I won't be uploading AMVs. In fact, I have a list of songs I really feel will be worth it and I will be working on those as best as I can. In the meantime, feel free to go to my channel and watch the many AMVs I have made in the past as well as a playlist which features personal favorites from Late Era 123, the channel who inspired me to make AMVs. His channel link will be in the description or pinned comment below. I won't be rushing my upcoming projects because who the hell wants rushed art? That's no bueno, no. This is why Melanie took four years to release her album and movie, okay? She didn't spend all that time since 2015 just being on the beach or anything, no. She was working hard. That's why you should stream K-12 and watch the movie on your YouTube channel. Another reason is that I've been getting to digital art lately and it works out a lot better for me since I don't have to push my hand to draw and literally tear up the paper every time I erase a mistake. Trust me, that happens a lot. When I first started doing digital art, I used several, no, I used a lot of references to help me with my first digital project. I believe it was the one with Brooklyn and Kai. For this one, I used a scene from one of the episodes from G-Revolution and create another scene from that. To me, I was a big shipper of Brooke Kai, and I still am, so be prepared for more Brooke Kai art coming up soon. So enjoy the little pieces I have dedicated to this ship. Moving on. I still had a lot to learn, so I started watching time lapses of digital artwork on YouTube and Instagram, which led me to channels such as Creepshow Art and Piper Sweeney. Links to their channels will be in the description or pinned comment below. I highly recommend watching their videos. From then, I started to learn about other people's styles and processes, and decided to blend some of those techniques into my process, creating my own elements that would define my art to be unique or distinct he yeah, has a better word from the others. Also, I don't plan on making a career off of YouTube, especially since I'm just a small creator and getting recognition for my work is gonna be a lot harder than I would expect and I'm okay with that. I don't have enough subscribers to be monetized, but I'm not worried about that because I don't care how many subscribers I have. Also, I have a part-time job, so earning money is not a problem or an issue to me. As for being a creator on this platform, what I care about is the content I make and the feeling of success and gratitude I get from the feedback I get on my content. I get constructive criticism and praise, not some stupid, oh, this is trash comments like that, like, no thank you. I'll be leading those as I go along. If you want me to respect you, try being respectful yourself and don't think being an asshole in the comments or DMs will get you anywhere because it won't. It just makes you ugly and no one likes that. No one will respect you or even want to be your friend if you're going being rude or insensitive. And no, it's not a personality trait. It's just you being an asshole. 
Anyways, you're probably wondering who or what I'm drawing, and I'll tell you that right now. I'm drawing Karen Lamares from a story I'm currently writing called Kellen's Journal. She's a supporting character who starts off as an annoying person from a wealthy family, but as the story progresses, she starts to become more tolerable and begins to develop, develop her own power. I wrote her in a way that when the reader begins to read about her, they're like, oh god, not this bitch again. But then after a major plot point that won't be spoiling or so, they're like, oh, hey, she's okay. I, I can handle her. At first, I didn't like her too much at the beginning, but the original idea was to have a group of friends with various talents and backgrounds in the streets of Manhattan. The protagonist, Kellen, is just your average teenager who secret is that his brother is a hedgehog. Yes, this was inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog. And his crush, Isabel, from 6th grade, returns three years later, reveals herself to be a dragon. Then his closest friend and soccer teammate, Chris, turns out to be a wizard who has a path of his own. We find out more about Chris's family and where, that's where all the kids end up in another world and yada yada yada, I won't spoil anything. But it is worth reading. I'll add a link down below if you want to read more. A lot of fun characters here, there, and a lot goes down in such a short amount of time. I do have to say that the chapters, or entries in this case, are very long, like close to 10 pages. Also, if you why Karen is not smiling in this, it's because her friend Isabel, next to her, invited the boys, Chris and Kellen, who are right behind them. Anyways, next topic. Now this will be more about my perspective, where I see my opinion on certain subjects. For instance, social media, as one of the greats call it. It is the toilet of the internet. <laughs> yes. Because it really can be at times. Like whenever I open up Instagram, it's either some crazy shit caused by people without a conscience, or I want attention in a wrong way, or some random stuff that made me burst out laughing in a second. I remember some time ago, there was a whole controversy surrounding my, one of my favorite artists and every post I went through was negativity upon negativity. It's just crazy how quickly some people were, who were once friends with the entire world can turn on each other without knowing the full facts or even doing research and thinking for yourself. I mean, like I said before, I'm 20 years old. I don't have the time or the energy to argue with a 15 or 12 year old. Why are they on the internet? Or even a 50 year old over some trivial stuff. Like, you know, I'm too old and too young for that, and I should know better. So lately, I've been staying off of social media as much as I can. I like communicating with people who don't give me a headache over the tiniest things. I just feel that social media has become so toxic and damaging for our mental health and social life, and I've, just come, and I've become so tired of the bullshit that my life just becomes a boring page. So I've been censoring the pages I've been following, so I'm not reading through some toxic bullshit where the person tries to be the victim when they know they're in the wrong. You know who you are. I would like to comment more about that, but I think another video will be more suitable. I don't want to lose my focus or go off track, so, so something even more personal to me. In terms of being an artist and somebody with a vision, I have these standards or guidelines on my mind that are called morals, and I find these helpful and when it comes to creating a new project, or a new story, or introducing a new character. Everything I create has been inspired by something, whether it be somebody I met, a song I'm listening to, or a character from a show or anime I'm watching. It's like I'm extracting a one specific trait from them, and I'm injecting into a whole new creation. I always draw from a vision, and I do a rough sketch, but NEVER! Well, I copy somebody else's fan art. I do not partake in plagiarism and copying of somebody else's artwork because you can't make the effort of doing the work yourself. It's just pure laziness. And yes, I have called out certain people for doing something like that because I hate plagiarism. I hate it when people's hard work are being taken for granted and are seen as a sheep shot. Like, how do you sleep at night? Another moral followed by is similar to the first one, but this is more like behind the scenes and that you can see in the video as well as some other timelesses I have on my channel. Never will I use fan art as a reference. If it's anything, I use the original artwork or the animation for help or I use my own body to demonstrate the position or posture I want. 
Some parts are easy, but the hardest parts for me are the hands and shoes. I don't, I don't understand why, but those are the hardest and worst for me. That's why I mostly post how much I hate drawing fingers because they're just so hard to draw. Okay, that was the second moral. Now the final moral I follow and I believe that every artist or animator or anybody working on a project should follow is improvise. Yep, when all else fails, I improvise, even in my AMVs. I always look for other avenues or techniques that can make my project the best it can be without missing the whole picture. I know some people are so into the image of your project and no matter what, it must be the exact same image that they must create. I was the same way, but then I realized that in life, not everything goes the way you wanted. The only area my vision is as specific as can be are my stories. I know exactly what to say and what my characters are like. But when it comes to art, AMVs, or edit, I improvise. Either it comes out not so great or is better than I thought and I save it to my favorites and I'll fight anyone who says it's trash because honey, can you do this? Do you have the capacity to withstand a headache for this? Because if not, you really should be talking. I remember spending over six hours glued to my chair in my college dorm, eyes this close to the screen and having to do this one edit over three times because my iPad blacked out and it saved on the wrong filter in blending mode and I was finally done by three in the morning. And as tired as I was, I saved everything, deleted the other drafts, for really just failed copies. And upload the final product on my Instagram and other platforms when I woke up in the morning. Of course you wake up in the morning. I was really fried that night and I couldn't get my head back together. But thankfully it was a Saturday so I didn't have to worry about missing any classes. To be honest, I really wasn't looking forward to getting mad or anything because I was so exhausted. Until some little prick decided to push my nerves. And had the audacity to call my edit that I worked over six hours on trash and I should give up. Ugh, 12 year olds. I don't even remember what I said to him other than me asking if he could make an edit like that. And if he could, you know, go through the pain and frustration, create edits that even I was surprised I could make. Because honey, I spend my time and effort to make these kind of edits. To be honest, I should be concerned about trivial comments like that because... There are going to be those who are, who are low-key jealous but are too confident to show up. So they say small comments to bring you down and take your confidence and tear it into itty bitty little pieces. And ignore them. They want attention. Okay, okay, I think I went a little too hard on those morals. And that small story time slash rant. And probably going to leave most of that as I go through the recording and editing process. But that's that. I hope this video entertained you or convinced you to sub to my channel. I'm open to constructive criticism and any other topics that you want my opinion on. Like I said, this is my first commentary video, so tell me what you think about this type of format. I'll most likely be doing this type of video in my future uploads and hopefully get AMV out there because I know I deprived most of you of that during this quarter of the year. I hope you all have a wonderful day slash night. Goodbye! Mm-hmm.